I actually found my birth mother in 2005 and I was thrilled. It was the most incredible day of my entire life. My mother, um, was, it was said that my mother on the birth certificate had brown eyes. So I thought, oh my God, please don't let me look like those men. I actually, at that point, I just I didn't know it, it was multiples. I just knew I was conceived in rape because the agency didn't didn't tell me the whole story. So when I actually met my mother, it, it was so incredible. I was standing at the reception desk and I turned around and I saw her, and she has these crystal blue eyes that are even bluer than mine, and I just knew that. She was my birth mother. She was thrilled. She's in a wheelchair and I was kneeling next to her. And I listened to her talk for about an hour. And then I said, would you mind telling me the circumstances of my conception? And she said, sure, no problem. I was walking home from watching a movie one night. I was dropped off by my employers. I was a nanny. And at that point, they couldn't pick me up because they were drunk, so I started walking home. And on a street corner, there were eight young men, had nothing to do, late at night, beat me up, raped me. And at that point, I just buried my face in her lap, and I was just crying. I was just so distraught. I, I just felt like, oh, why did she have to go through so much to give birth to me? And she just patted me on the back and said, honey, stop your crying. I've forgiven those men. Women who have been raped are very vulnerable. They lose their identity. They feel worthless and dirty. And somebody says, oh, you don't know what it's like. What if you would have been raped and pregnant? Okay, I wasn't pregnant through a rape, but I was raped. Not by eight men. I mean, we can compare all kinds of things. We are comparing the value of life of the unborn to the value of someone who is born. I think it's equal because everybody is an unborn at one point. And because we've been given the right to live, should we not give that to someone else? If someone fought for our life, should we not fight for others? That's what I'm doing. I want other people to know the joy I have in living. And I want them to know the joy that my mother has in living.